It's five o'clock somewhere, y'all, which could only mean one thing. It's time for art class happy hour. Let's draw prison, Mike. You're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil to start. Begin by finding the middle of your paper and then go over a little bit from the middle to draw a circle kind of like the size of a nickel. Add a couple of circles inside for the beautiful highlight that makes up prison Mike's eye. Now I'm drawing a curved line at the top and then at the bottom for the eyeball itself. And let's be honest, Prison Mike has seen some things, and he's got some wrinkles around those eyes and maybe some bags too. But that eyebrow is on fleek, y'all, and he's not playing. So go ahead and draw that in, and you can color, baby, color later on with a marker. About three fingers away from the pupil, we're going to add the other one. And so I'm going to try my best to make it about the same nickel size and add a couple of those highlights as well. Now, I know what you're thinking. Are you sure that's Prison Mike and not Silvio Dante, otherwise known as Little Steven Van Sant? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is also a lesson in how to draw Little Steven Van Sant. Oh, back to the drawing. Now let's add that eyebrow. There we go. And I know I'm going real fast. You just slap that pause button and get me to slow down. Now, I did start by drawing with a permanent marker first. I kept making little boo-boos, so I would recommend drawing with a pencil. Add that nice curve right there at the end of that nose, and then it curves up. Big old flaring nostrils, because Prison Mike, he ain't playing. He's stolen and robbed and kidnapped the president's son, and he even held him for ransom, and he never got caught, which is kind of crazy since he's Prison Mike and all. Now I'm going to add that little frowny face. There we go. Kind of looks like Beaker. Remember Beaker from the Muppets? There we go. Also giving it that Silvio Dante look up, over, and then back down. Bottom lip jutting out. Bingo. Now let's add a little bit of wrinkles. Go ahead and make that expression with your mouth. Me. You can feel that it pulls down at your bottom lip. You'll want to go ahead and show that too. All right. Now let's draw where the bandana is going to begin. It's pretty low. And then decide where the side of the head will be and the other side. And I'm just kind of putting little guide dots there for me. I'm going to begin with the side of the face and draw a vertical line that comes part of the way down and then goes in gradually for that lovely chin line. There you go. All right, and now we're going to begin with, what are we doing next? Why is my hand pausing? There we go. Oh, that, uh, we're working on the bandana. How about that? It's going to come all the way over to there. And then a little bit of sideburn action here. Out and up. Let's draw that ear. I feel like you should have an earring. You know, Michael really should have stepped up and added an earring. You can go ahead and do that. I said do it. I'm going to add the curve over on this side. And then repeating the process, this, for a little bit of art education for you, is a three quarter turn or something like that, perspective, point of view. So we're not exactly seeing him face on. We're not seeing a profile. It's in between. So some things are going to be a little larger in size looking than other. For example, that ear, you'll see more of a point of view or a perspective from it. I don't know why I'm trying to educate you. It is art class happy hour. Now I'm adding another lovely little sideburn. And now let's work on the bandana at the top. You know, you could add some good old prison mic quotes on the bandana would be great. You know, like, do you really expect me not to push you up against the wall? Or the worst thing about prison was the Dementors. <laughs> Next up, let's continue this chin line. And it looks like my drawing of prison bike is a little bit bigger than my original. That That's okay. Whatever. It's, you know, art class happy hour. We do what we can. And don't forget, I'd love to, what is happening there? Shaving off a little bit. Gosh, I wish it was that easy. Don't forget to share your drawing with me. You can post it on Instagram. And when you do, just mention me and I'll be able to see it. And of course, I'd love to check it out. If you want to share it on Facebook, that'd be great too. Let's work on this neck tie, neck first, and then work on the tie below. Now, when I'm finished drawing with a pencil and perfecting my masterpiece, that is Michael Scott, I'm going to trace over all of my lines with a permanent marker. And then I'm going to use crayons because what I happen to have, and I'm going to add color, baby, color, and maybe attempt to make this look a little bit more like Mike. I don't know. I'm trying, y'all. I really am. But uh, there we go. And let's just add that little jacket. Boom. Done. Masterpiece complete. Louvre, are you ready? Because I am. Now, like lightning, I'm tracing over everything. I feel like I should talk like an auctioneer. And adding any sort of details, getting rid of any boo-boos or little drawing lines that I don't like. And here I go with the crayons. Every masterpiece 
needs to be crayonified, I assume. So I'm just going to color this in, add a little bit of shadows under the eyes, under the nose, and don't forget that bottom lip. That'll really make it look more Michael Scotty, maybe less Stephen Van Sant or not the... Little Stephen, that's his name. Who's Stephen Van Sant? I don't know. And now I'm going to add my quote. You, my friend, will be the belle of the ball. All right, guys, I hope you had so much fun, as much fun as I did during art class happy hour. Have a great weekend, guys.